factors. I have recently joined McEwen Mining, and I, I am particularly pleased to be part of a company having, having this key ingredient. Strong leadership from the top, great projects in great location, and therefore clear growth potential. I am also happy to be part of a group where shareholders' value is the first priority. McEwen Mining Operation and Exploration Properties are located in some of the best mining regions and districts in America. Along the trend, in Nevada, in the Timmins World Class Camp in Ontario, the El Gallo District in Mexico, in Argentina. There is a good exploration upside potential at all sites, and drill programs are either in progress or are being de designed. In addition to our existing projects, we keep evaluating external opportunities, and we are advancing with a few exciting possibilities. In Nevada, we control a large and strategic land position along the Battle Mountain trend here. The Gold Bar project is at development stage and is clearly located at the right address directly at the southeast of the Barrick, Cortez, Pipeline, and Gold Rush discoveries. The deposit is loca located in the center of a large property, you see it on the left, and also resources of 611,000 ounces gold. The resources is, is hosted in four pits in red on the slide, those ones here. And the largest one is the Gold Peak deposit. This lo the long section at the bottom of the slide shows the gold grade distribution and color, as you can see here, within our projected open pit. Mineralization at all pits remain open at depth in sulfides and includes some high grade intersection. As you can see, this is open here. In the southeast property area, we have another surface resources, the gold bar south with 120,000 ounces gold. This additional oxide zone could likely contribute to expand the projected life of mine of, at our future operation. In addition to the existing resources, we have a number of highly promising exploration targets on the property. Some of them, as shown here on the slide, are supported by very significant drill intersections. These targets are proximal to gold bar and are going to be drilled as soon as permitting will allow, either in Q4 2017 or in early 2018. As indicated earlier by Xavier, the gold bar mine in Nevada should become a cornerstone of our future growth as an operation and also as an exploration story. Shifting now to Mexico, the El Gallo property surround a large intrusion in pink, color here in the, the middle, located in the center of the property. Multiple zones of mineralization occur over the district. The color dots that you see on the slide correspond to grade by thickness of the drill intersection. This is a good way to illustrate the distribution of the gold in our drilling. Past exploration in the district until now has been focused to the definition of oxide from mostly outcropping zones of mineralization. Considering that we will have the option to take advantage of an existing mill at Gallo Silver, at El Gallo Silver, this one here, we are now shifting the exploration strategy to explore the extension of open mineralization in, into sulfides and also in prospective areas lying under salt cover. Exploration is currently focused in three large area, the El Gallo trend, which include El Gallo mine and El Gallo silver on the east of the intrusion. On the west, here, the Encuentro trend, and in the northeast property area, the Mina Grande. I'm now going to illustrate some upside potential with the near mine and the district example. The first one is the near mine. This is our Samaniego open pit here. 
In near mine exploration, they find significant copper and gold mineralization to the northwest of the Samani Gold Grand Pit. Drilling is ongoing to define the extent of the mineralization, which is mostly transition and sulfide hosted. Studies are in progress to evaluate the economic potential of this zone. As you can see, low and gold mineralization, similar to what we have been mining here, significant mineralization and gold, and significant mineralization and copper directly adjacent to our pit. The Mina Grande, located in the northeast poverty area, hosts several mineralized structures striking in two opposite directions. You see those structures northwest, southeast, as well as northeast, southwest here. Historical mining and large zones of alteration and mineralization occur over this sector. A drill program is starting to follow up on significant and high-grade gold and also very high-grade zinc mineralization open at depth in sulfide. As you can see on the cross-section here, this mineralization is rich in both gold and, and, and zinc. A copper equivalent of those intersections is around 10 grams per ton gold. The significant base metal and silver credit are contributing to this high gold grade equivalent. The drill program is also design, designed to test a, a new structure and highly potential target defined at major structural intersection over the area here, target like this one. In Canada now, the recent acquisition of Lexam VG provides us with four quality projects with open pit and underground resources in the world class Timmins camp. Timmins is a 70 million ounces district and all of our property hosts high grade gold. As shown here on the slides, you have a list of some intersections. Those are the four properties. This is a joint venture. This is the Devon Synthes Dell there. Our immediate priorities is to advance those zones to development and production. In parallel, exploration is going to focus to increase resources and drill the depth extension of some of the high-grade zones. I am now going to show you on the next slide a vertical section through the northern portion of the camp. The section is represented here by the red line going from point A here to point A prime. This long section with the Davidson Teasdale property in the middle holds together 38 million ounces past produ production of gold. It includes the Ollinger McIntyre and a number of other mines. The gray area are the past producing mine. The red is our known resource. In the yellow outline, you see here at depth, is, is a potential extension of the mineralization. At Davidson Teasdale, high grade mineralization has been defined to a depth of approximately 300 meters. Vertical and, and Depth extension of organization remain open and provide excellent potential for deeper exploration. The next long section, shown here with the red S shape in the southern portion of the camp, include our other properties in the middle here. This is a long section where 24 million ounces have been produced. And here again, you can see the, pa the past producer, sorry, in gray, the existing resources in red, and exploration upside potential with the dash yellow outlined. The upper photo illustrates the surface expression of the Davidson Teasdale and Buffalo and Kerrite South open pit resources. This is a great way to visualize the intense quartz raining and the strong alteration at those deposits. The image at the bottom shown in white the trace of the drill holes and in red shapes are plus 50 gram drill intercepts. So you see the high grade in the projected pit here at Davidson Teasdale. The bottom right image here is a 3D model of the Buffalo and Kerrite north and south ore bodies as well as the Paymaster Porphyry. As you can see the folding 
into the camps there in the mineralization. Finally, in Argentina, our partner, Oak Child, is operating the San Jose mine. San Jose property is located directly to the north of a 7 million ounces gold equivalent gold corp Cerro Negro operation. Our property hosts a number of promising expression targets that we are test testing with drilling right now. I would like to conclude by saying that our focus exploration efforts on high quality project is providing us with high potential to grow through exploration. Thank you very much.